and we are back all right so we just got emily on the team we also found trish at a trader camp and natasha and i are still alive oh this also throws a wrench to our plans though now we can only survive one little food thing so we have to find food fast all right next objective uh, find food okay emily said that she had her car had her own car stashed nearby and that's a pretty sweet ride would you like to switch to emily's car yeah sure Super sweet ride, bruh. <laughs> Alright. If you tie a string around your finger real tight, your finger will turn purple. Good to know, thanks. And we've morale decrease. <laughs> the group is about to explore a small house when they notice that a horde is creeping nearby. Uh, the group will have to hold their ground for a bit before they can escape. Okay. Well, good thing we have a full party now. Okay, we just have to survive one hour. Let's see what Emily has. A piece of wood. Um... Well, shoot. Let's give her the tennis racket. I forget. This inventory system is weird. Oh, whoops. No, no, no. I don't want to throw it away. Okay. So, the tennis racket is not the most, like, sturdy thing. But I think it's more sturdy than a piece of wood. Okay. So, we just got to live. And let's see if we can find anything while we're busy living. There's, like, a bit of a delay when I, um open stuff up now i wonder why whoops i got us okay all i have is a pistol so let's just go hand to hand for right now so your goal is not exactly to kill it's just to live i use my environment to my advantage oh but yeah i really thought my fitness would be higher because i set myself as athlete like Oh, really? Oh, you get tired carrying things? I didn't know that. So you can't carry things for too long. Okay. This is getting a little a little hectic now. Okay, so let's draw everybody up this way. And then when they come up to try to get us, we're just going to run right around them. As soon as the siege lets us. Okay, siege is over. Try to escape. Right, let's get out of here. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, yeah, they're all away from the door now. Okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yes, let's go. Uh, we found, we just found ammunition here. That was it. We haven't eaten anything yet, so that's okay. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. Alright. So morale and random skill gain, morale and one health healed. Well, everybody's at full health right now. Or fitness gain. Like a guaranteed fitness gain. Um, hmm. I'm kind of leaning towards fitness right now, in all honesty. Just because... Are we still tired, though? Well, no. It wouldn't matter because we're going to get it automatically. Uh, my, my morale is pretty low. Everybody else's morale is okay, I think. Let me check. <clears throat> so, let's see. Oh, actually, my morale is not too bad. Everybody else's morale is actually pretty good, too. Okay. Let's increase our fitness. Running from zombies all day is a great form of exercise. <laughs> Alright. Everybody's but Natasha actually leveled up. Natasha's fitness is terrible. We also got a zombo point. Is it like impossible to increase her fitness anymore? Can we slow down a little? Could you shut up a little? Oh my god. <laughs> Why was I so mean? I have a nurturing nature. What the heck? The group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove on it, but no wood. The group eats a decent meal. Oh, minus nine. Oh, minus nine food. I think it's because Trish is a gourmand. Yeah, so Trish eats one extra food every time we eat. But every time she eats, uh, she gets a morale gain. But then every time she doesn't eat, her morale goes down, I think, tremendously. I think that's the, the catch. Go out and chop wood. Just go to sleep. Let's go out and chop some wood. Who should go and chop wood? It's really hard work. Well, who has the best fitness right now? My fitness is actually pretty good. Oh, Natasha's did go up. Okay. So I have the best fitness. I'll go out and do it. Andre chops a bunch of wood and gets the wood stuff going before passing out from exhaustion. <laughs> He'll be very tired tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to be tired again. But my strength increased. And everybody's morale increased. All right. Am I going to be tired? Yeah, I am tired. Okay. 
Nice. Everybody's in pretty good in pretty good place right now. Everything is red. Uh-oh. While driving on the death row, the group decides, okay, we've got a lost stronghold. Barn rescue. There's somebody at the barn. Or roadside rescue. We have a full party, though. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this... Well, the stronghold might also have food. I'm guessing the stronghold would mostly have ammunition. Let's check out the stronghold. Let's see what's over there. The apartment building was uh, turned into a barricaded fortress. It has been completely overrun by a horde of zombies. On the plus side, they seem fairly docile for now. Okay, cool. Afternoon, they're docile. All right. We do, we could definitely use more weapons. We're just kind of scraping by with some small stuff. Like, I'm not even equipped with anything right now. And I, I don't want to have to use a gun quite yet. Ooh, a hammer. Yeah, I can use that. This place is big. <laughs> Hopefully there's a lot of stuff here. This place is very big. Okay, there's nothing back here. Nothing in this room. Okay, I gotta be careful because I am tired. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, I guess I could use a femur too. I don't even I didn't even see what I picked up. I just know that I got a femur. <laughs> okay. Probably some gas in the toilet. Yep. Alright, group. Okay, let's go back over this way. I like my little uh, team here. Oh, there goes a femur. I snapped my femur, guys. There was a gun. Whoa, what is that? Oh, a free zombo point. Nice. I've never seen that before. Okay, a pistol. Somebody wants to take that? I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so we got a hammer, a pistol, and a shotgun. It's funny that I'm the one collecting all the guns because I hate guns. Emily, you want to pick something up? Uh, wait, I can do swap, mate. Wait, whoops. Um, yeah, let's give, I don't want her to use a gun right now. Let's give her the knitting needle. <laughs> and as backup, we'll give her the pistol. Okay, let's get out of here. On to the next room. Okay, getting a little bit of food. Always good. Some ammo, more ammo, more ammo. <laughs> I mean, it is a stronghold, so I think this is food over here. Yeah, one more food. Yeah, we're going to need a whole lot of food with Trish in the party. Sorry, Trish. But Trish loves food in real life, so it's accurate. There's nothing in there? Okay. Um, I think there are a few more rooms to check out. Yeah, i got to go back over this way. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, there are a lot of rooms in here. I guess this is a hotel. Excuse me? What happened? What happened? Wait, what? What just happened? Where's Trish? Oh my god, Trish! What? Oh my god, she got stuck outside and she died? I didn't even notice anything was happening! Oh my god. I can't believe we lost Trish already. I didn't even see her. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Ah. Uh, oh, that makes me mad. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, this is the time to use the gun. Oh my god, they killed Trish. I didn't even know that she was stuck. Man, I was feeling so good about everything. God dang it. <laughs> I'm really upset. We, di we didn't even see her die. She just was on the other side of the door. How that even happened? She had four health. Was she stuck for that long over there? I cannot believe we just lost Trish. I cannot believe that just happened. Oh my god. This is going so well otherwise. And I got hit too. But I'm still alive. Like Trish isn't wasn't so lucky about it. I can't, I can't believe she's dead. How could I not even notice? She had to have gotten hit four times. Four times. This place is gigantic. I'm really bummed out right now. Man. Okay. 
Okay, I gotta rest. <laughs> I can't believe you lost Trish. I'm just, I'm so mad about that. Uh, so annoying. Oh, we still haven't even gotten in here yet. Oh, okay, there's a little tiny room. Let's, oh, please, please, please. Let's just get out of here. Let's see if I can pick this up. Uh, am I holding something that I can get rid of? Yeah, let's switch out the hammer for the knife. Mm, let's get out of here. Man. That sucks. Oh, whoops. I accidentally hit to stay here. That really, really sucks. <sighs> I can't believe we lost Trish. Where are the exploding zombies and the tongue ones? Healed, healed everybody. I healed myself basically. Oh hey, we found Joe at least. So we're not one short anymore. I still wish that we had Trish. <sighs> He's sitting in a park reading a book. He will be reading a book during the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Actually, no, he will be riding a bike. Okay, Joe. Welcome to the team. Very bad wits, but a very good attitude. <laughs> The group finds a perfect throwing rock on the ground. It is next to a low fence guarding a big fall. At the bottom of this drop is a single zombie standing there, staring at nothing in particular. It's too, it's too good to pass up. Someone must throw that rock at this zombie. Wait, we have to? Um, who would do it? I think Natasha would do it. Just in real life. Natasha or Emily, I feel either of them would do it. Natasha is compelled to throw a rock at the hapless zombie. She keeps accidentally throwing the rock in ways that make it return to her. What? First it was straight up, then the next few times it hit the fence. <laughs> then goes on for se this goes on for several hours. Natasha eventually throws a rock over the fence just barely. She is nearly dead from exhaustion by then. Her morale plummeted. And she got hurt? All of our mor Are you serious? It revealed her strength and her fitness increased, but all of our morale decreased and Natasha got hurt. With the day wasted, the group has set up camp. They forced me to do that. They forced me to do that. <laughs> That was dumb. At least her strength increased, I guess. Maybe we should just pass the next town. Tries to help, but lacks enough medical supplies. Oh boy. Yeah, Natasha's in critical condition, I think. Group finds a large campsite that is occupied by a few carlos of other survivors. Uh, camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go. Uh, let's camp with them. And goes someone, and we'll never know who, did the hand on the warm water prank to Andre. Why does everything bad happen to me? Uh, low on food and eats less. Ah, oh, so all of our morale decreases. Oh, God. So many things can go so wrong in this game extremely quickly. Oh, boy. The car is completely out of gas. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Group spots a bakery van that is broken down the side of the road. Okay, the van is irreparable. Well, we have Emily. Uh, the bread is moldy and inedible. But there are some sugary cakes that are still good. Okay, well, I'm going to a little bit. And we got four food. Okay, that's a start. Emily, oh, when she is suddenly mauled by a feral cat. Feral cats coat the United States after the, after the zombie, the zombo cot, zombocalypse. There we go. You never see them, but they're always watching, waiting for any weakness. Emily is hurt and her morale decrease. Wonderful. Roof has a long road full of abandoned cars and the zombies that maybe used to own them. There must be a lot of gas still in their tanks, and there must be a car that still runs. Yeah, we have to do this. They're hunting. It's thick, and they're hunting. Look for a good car. <sighs> All right, everyone. Let's do our best. Joe is carrying a piece of wood. Uh, let's give Joe the hammer. When the piece of wood inevitably breaks, he can switch over. We should get a broom. Yeah, we're really doing bad right now. Like, this is not going well whatsoever. Okay. Good thing it's a wide open space, so we can't get, uh... We can't get cornered so easily. Get some gas. Let everybody else is fighting things off. No, I can't do it in that one. Okay. Huh, squeeze through, squeeze through, guys. You can do it. There you go. <laughs> Somebody pull out the gun. Can't get, can't get gas out of there. Oh, I can get gas out of this one now. Okay, guys, watch my back. All right, let's go. 
Okay, we're doing okay. Here's a big pocket right here. We can get some gas over here. Watch my back, watch my back. Oh, food. Okay. Food is always good too. Ooh, med supply. Nice. Okay. Watch my back, guys. Okay, ammo. Something down here. No, this car is something. More food. Ooh, just gas cans sitting around. But we gotta clear out these zombies before I can siphon this or get whatever's here. Okay, gas, gas, gas. All right. Okay, this is going pretty well. Got a lot more gas just there. Okay, nothing in that car. Is that Natasha shooting a shotgun? Because <laughs> Natasha, I feel, is somebody who would totally just shoot guns at people. <laughs> Bubba buns. All right. Come on, everybody. Let's get in. Let's get inside. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, Natasha. Come on. Natasha, get inside. Oh, my God. <laughs> we almost left her behind. Uh, okay. Nice. I don't think anybody even got hurt. I think we have enough medical supplies to heal somebody? Maybe? As a group explores a campsite, they are ambushed by bandits. Oh, God. Did man all of our weapons? They brand this makeshift weapons. This is ludicrous. Not even bandits will usually do this, as it's a slow but sure death sentence. Uh, I don't want us to get hurt. I think Natasha and Emily can both take one more hit. But I really don't want us to get hurt. All of our weapons. That is a huge... That's a big order. I mean, it's not like we really have much of anything actually good, but... Um... Shoot, what should we do? You know what? I'm gonna risk it. Let's fight. Oh boy, and the group decides to take their chances in a fight. The bandits' weapons are crude, but they're still dangerous. Okay, everybody got hurt, but we kept all of our stuff. We just had to be very careful from here on out. Okay, we healed. Emily's in critical health. The group finds a city in the afternoon. The dead swarm over it. They're idle now, but they will notice. Oh, excuse me. They will notice you soon enough. Hardware store, or furniture store. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, which one will have food and med supplies? <laughs> I terribly need medical supplies. I think the hardware store might be a better choice for med kits. <sighs> okay, let's go for it. We gotta do this quick while the zombies don't really notice us. All right, let's boogie. Ernie's hardware. Okay, gas. There's a hammer somebody can pick up if they want it. I think Emily took that. Good. I don't think there's anything over there worth getting, actually. Another hammer. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here that we can get. So let's just head out. We all here? Okay. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Okay, a couple of rooms. A little bit of food. Nothing in here. All right, let's just go. Let's just go. I have to make sure to keep an eye on everybody. We don't want another. We do not need another Trish situation. Okay. Toilet gas. Toilet gas. Yep. Oh. Okay. So far, so good. As long as we all stick together and just. Don't let ourselves get cornered, which I feel like is about to happen right now. <laughs> if we get cornered, I'll bust out the gun. Or actually, I don't think I have any ammo in mine, so never mind. Somebody else have to do it. Okay, I got my hatchet. A little bit more food. Okay, getting a little overzealous there. Okay, everything else in here is clear. So I'm getting like very tactical right now. <laughs> Guys? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Just a single zombie. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I'm glad I was able to take one hit there. Okay, let's see what's in here. Nothing in this room. Excuse me. Something in the desk over there. A little light, little nightstand. Oh, oh, God, God, God. Okay, that was, that was scary for a second. Okay, I gotta be much more careful. 
I'm just kind of running headfirst in all these situations. Ugh. Okay, I'm starting to get tired. <sighs> okay, take a little bit of a breather in here. All right. Okay, we're all still together. Oh god. Oh jeez. Um. Okay. Okay, we're getting, we're starting to get cornered over here. Where? We're missing someone. Okay, good. Uh, I was like, where is Emily? Ah, oh, shoot. We're starting to get cornered. Okay, looks like they forgot about us. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here. Is there anywhere else in here that we can check out? No? This place is pretty shallow, actually. Is there anything to the left that we didn't see? If that's it, I will gladly hop into my car and jet. Oh, there's one more house. Okay. Because, yeah. It's dangerous, but we gotta get whatever we can. Oh, God. Is there... Oh, no, 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 no! God damn it. So I got a text. <sighs> okay, Natasha. You gotta take it up from here. Avenge me. With my dead body on the floor. Okay, I'm cornered, I'm cornered, I'm cornered. Jesus Christ. There's food in here, though. Like, we need food so bad. Oh, yeah, they're just eating me. Can I pick up my dead body and throw it? I so can. <laughs> oh, she's really tired though, so she can't do it for long. Man, <laughs> I didn't even live all that long in my own playthrough. Oh well. Carry my torch for me, folks. You can all do it. I didn't mean to pick that up, but that's fine. <laughs> like, this is actually a pretty good supply run that's happening right now. Oh, I can't leave my friends. Don't leave my friends. I don't think there was anything in that room, but... No, there's nothing in here. Okay. I think this was the last place, so let's get out of here. Yep, okay. Gotta get out of here. Again, we're one short. <laughs> ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Oh, boy. Don't... No, I didn't mean to do that. Floor it. Ah... Uh... <laughs> Gosh dang it, man. That was a good supply run, but I'm dead. <laughs> uh, Joe tries to help, but lacks enough medical supplies. Man. Okay. I guess that's a place that we can end the episode. <laughs> well, if you like this episode, please hit the like button and leave a little comment. And also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one, where we continue without me.